we are going through site selection for steam gauge stations steam gauge or gauge station is a place or location adopted by hydrologist or maybe environmental scientist to test and monitor terrestrial bodies of water in this water surface elevation or also called as stage is measured with the help of different manual or automatic gates like stop gates wire gates float gates recorder etc likewise the volumetric flow that is discharge of stream is measured by different methods like velocity area method current meter method salt dilution method slope area method ultrasonic method hydraulic structures like wear gated structures etc now the factors that should be considered for site selection of stream gauges stations are first the site of the stream gauge should be accessible throughout the year for installation operation and maintenance second the site should be more or less straight and stable reach of length about 10 to 20 times the width should be selected the gazing side should be free from backwater effects in the channel likewise the cross-section of the stream should be well defined which does not change in various seasons similarly the beds of the bank of a stream should be more or less firm and stable so as to ensure consistency of area discharge relationship likewise the site should be selected so as to ensure that no silting or scoring occurs during different stages of flow where a smooth rock or a clay bed is favorable and fine sandy bed should be avoided as far as possible next the banks and beds of the river should be free from growth of vegetation boulders and such other obstructions likewise the parts of the ridge should have the most regular transverse section and steady flow with the current normal to the metering section and velocities ranging about 0.3 to 1.2 meter per second should be selected a good control section for downstream of the gazing site should be selected in the form of steep rapids, large rocky boulders, etc. for ensuring consistency between stage and discharge. Likewise, at every stage, the total flow should be confined to single channel and the subsurface or groundwater flow should not be bypassing the site so guys if you think this video is useful you can like and share to your friends and for such videos you can subscribe to this channel as well thank you and we will meet in another video soon